Okay, I'm Catherine Duffy, and I'm from the Highlands, specifically Bonnie Castle, but I don't really understand how they divide up everything in the Highlands, so I just refer to it as the Highlands. Um, and I'm going to talk about my neighborhood a little bit and then talk about what my project is. So, This is the Highlands, and um, I just went through and listed some of the things that I really like about it. Um, one of the big ones is that we have lots of independent retailers, which I feel like we're one of the few neighborhoods that has been able to maintain that. Um, this is Heine Brothers, which is one that lots of people know, obviously. Carmichael's Bookstore, Ramsey's is up there, which is a great restaurant. And then I put Home up there. It's owned by friends of mine. So if you're Christmas shopping, for anybody who likes skateboarding, you should go there. Just a little plug. Um, and there are lots of other ones that lots of people know about, like Ear Ecstasy and just tons of great restaurants. Um, I think we, the, we have beautiful parks. This is Cherokee Park. Um, there's a loop that you can walk around. It's like two and a half miles, I think. And then there are different sections. Like this on the right is Dog Hill, where lots of people take their dogs to play. Um, I, we used to also go sledding there when we were little. Just sort of dangerous when you think the dogs are playing there, but... <laughs> covered with snow so it's okay um it's really it's very <laughs> it's very um pedestrian and bike friendly you have your own lane to use so um it's pretty safe and in addition to the parks it's there are lots of places with outdoor seating um lots of restaurants and coffee shops and it's um easy to walk to lots of places so in general I think it does a great job of using the green space and encouraging people to be outside. Um, I think that we have great architecture. The one on the left is a house and then on the right is the entrance to Cave Hill Cemetery um, and again the neighborhood has been really good. The people in the neighborhood have been really good about preserving the architecture. It's all really unique. Even places um, that have been turned into apartment buildings, like larger houses that have been <coughs> turned into apartment buildings. For the most part, the outsides remain the same. Um, and for the most part, we have good, there are a lot of, of, like I said, houses that have been turned into apartment buildings. And for the most part, I think the landlords are really good. Um, I think when we had the list of abandoned houses, I think there were only two in my zip code, which is pretty amazing. Um, so this is the drawback. <laughs> I've, my, I've lived in the Highlands off and on for my entire life. My dad is from the Highlands and my paternal grandfather, his family, all lived in the Highlands. Um, and because we have such a great neighborhood with all those great benefits, um, the property prices have been increasing a lot in the past few years. And I hate to look, to look a gift horse in the mouth because, um, you know, it's really nice to live in a great neighborhood. But at the same time, a lot of people that I've grown up with um, who are having kids, they can't afford to buy houses in the neighborhood anymore and have expanded to other areas like Germantown and um, Butchertown which are really great neighborhoods also um, but I think there's sadness that goes with not being able to raise your families in the same place that you grew up and had a great experience um, so these are just two examples of the property price prices the one on the left used to be a nursing home and they recently converted it to luxury condos, which they've been doing a lot. And the starting price for a condo in that building is $540,000. That's on Cherokee Road, right by the old Highlands Library, um, like the 900 buck. And then the house on the right, we actually saw it the other day when he was talking about the yards. But um, that one is right by my house, right by the statue at the entrance of... Cherokee Park and that house is I think it was listed for 1.3 million so there are a lot of houses in the neighborhood that are selling for over a million dollars and even smaller houses um, like on my street or streets close to me are like over 300,000 just for smaller houses um, and then also just as a my this is a personal story my parents when I graduated from high school they sold our house and four years later, the people who bought the house from the people we sold it to paid $100,000 more than what my parents had sold it for. So that's just sort of an example. And my mom actually met 
the people who bought it and they said, you know, we realized that we were paying a lot more than it was worth, but we just really wanted to live in the neighborhood. So we were willing to pay it. So <laughs> my problem came in when I was trying to come up with a plan to like um, deal with this. I didn't really know. I, one of the things that bothered me was that um, I really feel like the diversity is decreasing in the Highlands, um, especially, especially the socioeconomic diversity. So I didn't really know how to address that. Um, but I know what a diverse city we live in because I work at the courthouse and you get a big cross section there. I mean, everybody has to be at the courthouse at some point, either jury duty or speeding tickets or something. So <laughs> my first plan was that I was going to Scooby Do it and try and scare everybody out of the neighborhood, <laughs> either by going on a one woman crime spree or dressing up like a ghost. But um, I realized that that doesn't usually work. <laughs> they always get caught in the end. And. Um, that is probably not in the, the spirit of the Neighborhood Institute. So instead of, try, instead of trying to um, force diversity onto my neighborhood, I figured that I would just increase the diversity in my own personal life and hope that that would um, have some sort of effect. So I decided to volunteer in a neighborhood that is um, not as fortunate as my neighborhood and share all the benefits that I got from growing up in such a great neighborhood. So I went to idealist.org, which is a website um, completely for nonprofits. It's a great website if you have never seen it. They have job listings, um, they list volunteer opportunities, and they also just list um, all the organiza nonprofit organizations, well, not all the nonprofit organizations in an area, but the organizations that sign up for idealist.org. And you can, it's really easy to search, and I just sort of put in what I was looking for, and I chose the Arcadia Community Center, which is a community center in the South End that does a lot of work with immigrant and refugee families. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. <laughs> is that all?